some pools uh, we were talking about this yesterday are year round, which is really going to come in handy for a mm -hmm. weekend like this where the weather gets sure. so nice. You know, when you can lay outside and temperatures in the 80s and uh, get uh, take a dip in the pool if you get too warm, it certainly is nice because we do have some warm springs out here locally. We also have some wet weather too. We got a light rain chance uh, through the early part of today. Uh, it should begin to taper in the afternoon, but we'll likely keep a few sprinkles around. Rain is more likely tomorrow, and it does include the risk for a few strong to severe thunderstorms tomorrow. We'll tackle that risk here in a moment. Uh, overall, the warmer, drier weekend we just spoke of. We're talking about 70s on Saturday and potentially some low 80s come Sunday. Warm weather and it stays warm into much of next week. We're mild this morning with temperatures as low as 49 degrees in Jefferson. The rest of us are in the mid to upper 50s, save a few mountain spots that are just a couple of degrees cooler. Uh, we got a little break from the rain uh, late in the afternoon and through the evening yesterday. Kept a few sprinkles around, so still a little damp and we have more scattered showers, mostly very light showers moving through the mountains and into the western foothills. If we take the wider perspective, you can see how much it's starting to fill in over portions of northern Alabama and Tennessee, and this will bring a decent rain chance. We're expecting some very heavy thunderstorms to develop south of the stationary front uh, along coastal areas of Louisiana and then moving into Alabama and Mississippi a little bit later in the day today. The risk is quite high, a level three and four risk for much of Louisiana and the southern portions of Mississippi, Alabama and the, the panhandle of Florida. Conditions were just out of any uh, really elevated risk of any kind and even storms should be minimal for at least today. But rain chances are decent. A good scattered shower threat early on. Temperatures will stay cool as long as the clouds and the rain are, are, are pretty heavy and pretty tight. Uh, we'll start to see temperatures jump once we start to see a few peaks. I still have us at mostly cloudy through the latter part of the day, but we could see a few more cloud breaks and some partly sunny skies later on. Temperatures lower 70s later today. Foothills temperatures close to 70. You'll spend most of your day with temperatures in the 60s. Best rain chances to the early part of the morning and then start to taper down, but we'll keep just kind of a blanket 20% rain chance in for the foreseeable future until we start to move this system out. Even the mountains get back into 60s today, but while the rain is active, uh, temperatures will be in the 50s. For game two of the Battle of I-40, we'll have temperatures close to 70 at first pitch. Keep that chance for a spotty shower, but like last night, I think we're going to be in pretty good shape. Mild, perhaps a little humid. Uh, out and about. Your hour by hour forecast shows you when our best range of chances come through during the morning and then abruptly starts to kind of drop out, but we don't lose it entirely. A few breaks in the clouds late in the day, uh, mostly the partly uh, cloudy skies, and then we'll keep uh, at least a lingering rain chance this evening. Chances begin to beef up again for Thursday. You can see the weather's more active. A few passing thunderstorms will be a possibility, especially during the afternoon and early evening hours. The risk for severe is, has been lower for tomorrow uh, and, and level one risk for the mountains, foothills and for the triad tomorrow. That's primarily going to be for damaging wind gusts and possibly some pockets of heavy rain. It will be a low tornado risk and a hail risk for tomorrow. Uh, temperatures cool temporarily for Friday, but back in the 70s. Saturday should be a beautiful day and warm days ahead Sunday, Monday and Tuesday. Expect highs in the 80s.